Welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday. This is Series Trez. And during this series, I'm going to be showing you some big moves, some of my signature moves, some of other people's signature moves, uh, and some difficult stuff which you can use yourself. Okay, it's 3 Minute Thursday, so I'm going to try and get through this in three minutes. Now, the first move I'm going to show you today in this series is an exhibition flare move with one bottle, one tin, and it's a, a slide to lampshade, and it looks like this. Oh, nearly missed it, but got it. So, <clears throat> what's happening is, is the bottle and the tin are coming up from behind my back. They're separated in the air. I grab the, the bottle, and then the tin lampshades on top of the bottle. Now, to do this, you've got to remember a couple of different things. First of all, with other split moves or other moves, sometimes when there's a bottle inside the tin, you would hold the bottle and the tin together. In this instance, you're holding the tin by itself and you're gonna hold it in a tennis grab. So imagine the tin and the bottle is like this, you just hold it like this. And you're holding it kind of in the middle of the shaker, maybe a little bit further down. Now I'm gonna turn around. When you're throwing the bottle and the tin up, you just wanna throw it as if it's gonna come straight up but then again, kind of towards yourself. So when I do the move, I lean back this way and the bottle and tin come up, okay? And that brings the bottle and the tin to the right side of my body because I'm gonna land the move with my right hand. It's a throw with my right hand and it's a catch with my right hand. Let me try and show you again. Oops. Okay. You see how at the moment I'm catching it here, but the more you lean, the more the objects are gonna come over. What you don't wanna do is you don't want the bottle or the tin spinning in the air. So you don't want to throw it like, like this. They got stuck together this time, but, and they got stuck together again, okay? You don't wanna throw it like this because they're gonna separate at the wrong time and it's not gonna work. The move is not gonna function correctly. This is all about how you're throwing the objects uh, will make the catch a hell of a lot easier. So you may struggle with that throw, so I'll go through it one more time for you. You're, what you're essentially doing, instead of throwing it like this, so the tin comes first, you wanna start to try and pop the bottle out. So you pop the bottle out like this. So as you pop the bottle, it, see how it kind of comes up flat. And to pop it, you just wanna give it like a stab, like that, pop. So the bottle comes up. You want to do exactly the same thing, but this time you let go of the tin as well. So as you pop it up, the tin and the bottle come up together and they should hopefully fly like this. You grab the bottle and the tin comes on top. Try and show you again. All right, you see how they come up flat. I'll try and show you from the back. Fire! One more go. Missed it, one more go. There we go. So it is all about that throw and popping the two objects up so that they come over flat. It is a difficult move to get, as you just saw, I missed it three times in a row. But it is a really nice move, it's a nice connection move. It's a move with one hand as well, and you're throwing it from behind you, you're catching it in front of you. It's a flash, which is all the moves in the air together. So it encapsulates or incorporates a lot of different types of flair in one move. Anyway, give it a go. Let me know what you think. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, put it in the comments box below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. That is four minutes and 27 seconds. Don't hate me, please. See you next time.